Hello, and today I've got the smallest version of the Elgato Stream Deck, um, which, as you might imagine from the name, is, is really aimed at um, YouTube streamers or people who stream, not necessarily YouTube. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but it will actually do quite a few other useful things. And even if you don't consider yourself a YouTuber, which I certainly don't, um, if you've got a door and you use software, Windows or Mac, um, it can do some useful things. It can short, basically create shortcuts for your door um, and it can automate processes. Um, I thought I'd start off really simple um, by looking at um, what we can do with the UC1. I, I must admit, I'd meant to start it on this screen. I've done two things. Um, and this is the software here is the um, software that comes with the Stream Deck. And while I'm not going to do a complete walkthrough, I'll probably do enough so you get the gist of what's going on. The first thing I did was I created a folder here and I gave it um, an icon. Um, that's the FL Studio Fruity Loop. Um, for, and I didn't give it a title because I felt that was enough. And what that allows you to do is to have additional um, shortcuts behind um, that which obviously would all be related to uh, would all be related to FL Studio. In this case, um, I've got one, and it's the uh, UC1 channel strips, similar to the video I did the other day. Um, I'm adding five channel strips at a time. So, um, without further ado, if I bring up um, the mixer, let's close down the Stream Deck software actually because it's probably not relevant, and. I'll just start you off with a, a brand new project here so you can see there's no um, jiggery pokery. Did I actually do that then? Yes, I did. Um, just close down that menu. Oh, no, I don't really want to close down a whole shebang. If I move that window off out of the way and we leave the mixer up, um, process is basically the same. Select the track in FL Studio that you want to add the first um, channel strip to. Hover over the plugin area, which is there, and then push the button. And I've asked it to do five at a time, similar to um, what I did with the uh, UF8 the other day. Now, it's a little bit slower than the UF8. Um, I would imagine that if you get into the guts of it, you can probably speed it up, tell it not to wait quite so long in between um, uh, running its actions. But having said that, it's still fast enough because this is a, a one-off thing, really. You're not going to be doing this all the time. So there's my first one. Let's do the next five. I'll do 15, should I? And then I think, um, I don't think I've got anything else to show you in this video. So quite a short video. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what I will do is I'll go in and I'll just show you roughly um, how the commands are uh, within uh, the Stream Deck because um, it's obviously different to um, the UF8. So let me just bring up the Stream Deck software again. If I can find it. Uh, Stream Deck, that's it. And if I click on here now, you'll see basically what I asked it to do was um, a multifunction um, process. And then you have to add each key individually. So I've got the F8 key, I've got the S key, I've got the... So quite laborious, actually, in the Stream Deck. In the UF8, all I had to do was um, touch the buttons one by one. I found with this, to get um, to ask it to do five sets of uh, uh, channel strips, I had to enter all this individually. So not the best UI, but to be honest, that doesn't really matter because you only do this once. Um, so just to give an example of adding um, another hotkey, I'll add another one uh, to the end. And uh, let me think. Hotkeys here. So it's simply a question of dragging a hotkey across to where you want it to be. Uh, let's put it right at the end. And then um, clicking on here, and I'm going to press, oh, I don't know, the Enter key. So that's Return key. And then just so that I don't mess up my um, system, in case I start using this in earnest, uh, I'll delete it. Uh, and it's as simple as that, really. Um, pretty, pretty straightforward. 
Um, feel free to ask any questions. Uh, I might do some more of these. Uh, I think on the UF8 video I did suggest uh, using the touch portal. I haven't got it set up in the touch portal. Um, that's probably the cheapest way of doing this kind of thing. Um, you obviously don't need a UF8 and you don't need a stream deck which I think is around 70 quid at the moment. Um, so whereas the uh, touch portal software I think is about 15 quid plus you can run it on your phone or an old Android tablet or something so if you have one looking around um, I think that's a better solution. Um, having said that, <coughs> having got this uh, Stream Deck now in my head I like to have specific things for specific actions and I think most people are the same and that's really why the um, the UC1 is so popular I think or it's, it's certainly been held as being you know the great new thing in control services it only plug it only uh, covers two plugins two SSL plugins and it's pretty pricey for what it is but that doesn't detract from its usefulness it does what it does really well um, and it's very clear when you go to any of the buttons what those buttons are doing and that's something I think in today's age where you can do so many different things with a mouse and there are so many different options it's almost overwhelming I think we're hankering, harkering back to the days harking, hankering, harking back to the days when uh, it was literally one button for one action um, I think that's what we all actually want certainly when you get to my age I guess um, it's like going back in time uh, <laughs> which would be nice <laughs> but anyway um, enough frivolity um, thanks very much for watching uh, if you have enjoyed this video please give it a like and feel free to subscribe to my channel um, I'm on a spate of doing videos at the moment I'm not sure what the next one will be but I'm quite enjoying it um, for the time being so while I've got some useful things to uh, to impart I'll continue okay well thanks very much